prior to becoming chief of data services, I was a state trooper. And my attitude toward data was who needs it? Because we knew what the crashes were, we knew where they were happening, and I just didn't see a real value to it. Since I've become chief of data services, if I would have known then what I know now, I would have taught totally differently. A lot of major decisions are made based on crash data. A lot of money is spent based on where the crashes are occurring, where they're reported. We as the MPL provide a regional perspective about the crash patterns and crash statistics. We give an overview of what the issues are and then we work with the agencies and organizations in central Ohio so that they can produce programs and strategies to address those issues. Each year in the state of Ohio we provide about $65 million to our district offices and local communities so that they can address high crash and serious crash locations around the state. We've successfully completed funding applications for multi-million dollar projects based on crash data and those projects are getting funded and moving forward to address the accident problems at that location. Our entire program is driven by crash data. Uh, crash data tells us where, uh, where we should be prioritizing locations first to study and actually improve and spend money on. A lot of times we don't realize as officers that the data is being used by safety organizations. We think it's used more by people that are looking for financial gain and when in fact that's not true. Had I known that at the time I was on the road, I would have it would have been a little more of a priority to me. The purpose of Safe Communities is to reduce the number of injuries and fatalities that are a result of traffic crashes. So to, in order to do that for us, we have to do research and look at a lot of data to determine where the educational needs so that we can determine the proper interventions for the community. We take the data for, from accident reports to improve safety of intersections, to improve traffic flow, and also to determine where we're going to do some selective enforcement. Describing the locations, the events accurately, helps uh, engineers, planners, determine exactly what happened in a traffic crash so that they can respond appropriately. The detail that you provide in a crash report is absolutely critical. Uh, what you put in a collision diagram, what you put in the narrative, helps us pinpoint what the problem is. It, it gives us clues after the fact. Uh, as to what's occurring out there and how we might address it either with engineering, through driver education, or with some extra law enforcement help. One of the major uses we've had from this data in the city of Columbus is telling us where to implement the photo red light program. Those intersections where we've had the cameras up and running for over a year, we've seen dramatic reductions in T-bone crashes. If we see a lot of speed related crashes, then we can work on doing targeted educational campaigns or traffic calming in a particular area to slow people down and ultimately have less crashes. If we don't know exactly where that crash occurred, especially in a, a heavily congested uh, corridor where you have lots of intersecting streets uh, and pieces of property, if we don't know exactly where that crash occurred, we may end up addressing and fixing some location that isn't as good as another one that really needs a lot more help. We assign an intersection to almost every crash report, but it's imperative that somebody reading that report understand whether the crash report occurred in the intersection or did it maybe occur 10 or 15 or 20 or 25 feet away from the intersection? It's really important to have the right uh, route and street name. It's absolutely critical to have a good uh, solid reference point uh, to where that crash occurred on that street or route, uh, such as an intersecting street, a milepost, uh, even a home address can be helpful. Sometimes there's an intersection that has, or two intersections that have the same name, 270 and Broad, east and west side, and so if it's not clear which intersection it is, then we have no way of even determining if it's a if it's a problem. We had a stretch, a 14-mile stretch of I-75 in the Cincinnati area. And over a three-year period, we had 11 fatalities, crossover crashes that were occurring. And as a result of having good crash data, we were able to build support for having a project where we built cable barrier in the median of that roadway. And since that project has been built, we went from 11 fatalities in three years to zero. We installed seven high-profile crosswalks on Livingston Avenue between Parsons and Alum Creek Drive. Because we had the data to show that that traffic corridor warranted changes to the built environment to improve conditions for pedestrians, we were able to receive $10,000 along with some matching grant funds. Another important uh, program that we have underway with the Department of Public Safety is electronic 
uh, crash reporting. Uh, this does a couple things. Um, one, it has built-in edit checks. So uh, we understand that law enforcement officers are doing lots of different things during the course of a day. And anything that we can do to make it easier on you by putting in edit checks so that um, we can find uh, small errors and correct them before they reach us, that makes the data better and it also makes law enforcement's job easier. Part of the mission of the Columbus Division of Police is to protect citizens and enhance safety. Obtaining and documenting accurate crash data is definitely a way that police officers can help engineers and traffic planners improve our highways, enhance safety, and actually save lives. For us, law enforcement are out there doing on the road what we're trying to enforce in an educational message. We really think that it's important to work together with, with everybody involved to better communicate. We all have the same goal of of reducing crashes and saving lives. We greatly appreciate the work our law enforcement officers do day in and day out and we look forward to continue that relationship that we established with them. We have too many fatal crashes, too many lives cut short by accidents. There's no other way to say it. Um, and anything we can do to reduce that, we're doing what we signed on to do.